Hello readers, I'm Amy and today I'm going to be talking about Quality Land. I could only find like one pronunciation thing on Google and I think you say the author's name as Mark Uwe Kling. Um, purposes of this video I'm just going to say Kling. Quality Land is brilliant and I don't even know how to start talking about this book. Um, I got a gift card from a friend and ended up purchasing the hardcover copy of this book when I was like halfway through the audiobook that I got from my library. So I can link the video down below. I got to appear in a video by Eric from Breakeven Books where he brought a bunch of booktubers together to talk about their favorite sci-fis. And I had mentioned The Humans by Matt Haig because I recently read that in like a week of reading Matt Haig. And I'm watching through the video and someone recommended Quality Land, which is by a German author. And I was thinking like, oh, I've heard of that book and I was going to read it and then I forgot about it. So I, of course I'm watching this video and I remember it and so I get on Libby and hey, it's available. And I start listening to it. And first off, highly recommend the audiobook. Female narrator who just... <laughs> she was brilliant. Everything about this book was brilliant, but she really had a grasp on like how to portray personalities for different characters through voice. Um, you had the annoying characters with the high-pitched voices, you had the more masculine voices. There's this pink quality pad who just has so much attitude. It's one of my favorite characters, but I should probably tell you what this book is actually about. So the cover of this book looks kind of like an Amazon box, except the tape says Quality Land instead of Amazon. And it's marketed as a science fiction, and it is a science fiction, but it's also like a parody of our actual lives. It's, it's this humor, science fiction, and the humans just got bumped. Like, Quality Land is officially my favorite, 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 favorite sci-fi ever. You don't need to really be into sci-fi to read it or to understand it. There's not, like, a ton of math and science. It's more based around technology. But you have this world of Quality Land where everything is just, like, peak quality and you can get matched with your perfect partner through algorithms and... One of, the, one of the main storylines is about how the shop, which is Quality Land's most popular online retailer, can predict what you want and send it to you before you even realize that you want it. And there's so much discussion on what quality means, and there's this thread through the book of like, how well an algorithm really works and how much is up to the technology and how much to account for human error. And there's, <laughs> uh, there, there's just, there's so much and I don't know that there's really an order to talking about it. Um, the discussion of race in this book is so funny. <laughs> and so well done. To, to me, as a, as a white woman, I enjoyed the race discussions in this book. I'll say that. You have Melissa Sexworker. So the last name is taken from, I believe, the father's work, job position. Um, Melissa Sexworker is going on a date with Peter Jobless. And Melissa Sexworker is an online commenter. And Peter's like, oh, so you're a troll. And she's like, no, I'm an online commenter. Like, I want to start conversations through the comments on social media. And she replies to a lot of right-wing conservative medias. And Peter's just like, why would you do that? Are you sure you're not a troll? That sounds terrible. And she's like, well, it's just the easiest way to make money is to comment on a right-wing conservative's video because you don't need to pay attention to grammar or facts, <laughs> which that's a point. And then um, every now and then you get to like see this news piece that comes up and the audiobook would list the comments that were under that. And half of Melissa sex workers comments start out, I'm not racist, but, and you can tell the author is just trying to make a point with that. And there's this guy, this politician 
who's like, I'm the least racist person on earth. How dare you say that I'm racist? And someone's like, well, what about Martin Luther King? He wasn't racist. And the guy's like, he was the most racist. He was so racist against white people. And just, it was so funny. And like, it could have important discussions, but also the book never took itself too seriously. And there's, this product, and I really want to tell you what it is because it's great, but you need to read the book and maybe this will give you incentive to read the book, but there is this really hilarious adult product that Peter Jobless gets in the mail and he's like, I don't want this. And he goes to try and return it and he's talking to this robot and he's like, I want to return this item. She's like, okay, it's said item. Hi, Peter Jobless, how can I help you? I want to return this item. Here's said item. And then it just starts over again. Like, she keeps resetting every time he says what the item is. Like, the computer cannot comprehend that he would want to return this item. And there's also this storyline. Like I said, there was a politician in it. There was these two politicians that, or I guess three politicians that we're focusing on. And two of them are going for, like, the presidential campaign. And one of them is a robot. And his campaign manager wants him to be less perfect. And just kind of show some human error. And he's like, well, I'm not really programmed to do that. And then you have the conservative guy who's saying the stupidest things and making horrible decisions. But he's getting the popular vote. And this book was written in like 2017, so I think it's really a reflection of the time. But I don't know. It, just, it it was five stars. This was a pretty spoilery review, I guess. And I don't know how much of a review it was so much as a discussion about what happens in the book and why I love it. But I just... If you need something to lighten up your day, read Quality Land. It is brilliant best book I've read this year, top three favorite books. Like, if you know me at all, you know how much I love Jurassic Park and Dracula. Those are like my two favorite books ever in the world. Quality Land ranks up there with those two. So for those of you who know me, you now have some understanding of what this book meant to me in my list of favorites. So please read it. I guess that's going to be it for me. So please like, subscribe, be my friend on social media, comment down below if you've read this book or if you think it's interesting. I want to say there was a TV show made of it at some point. I'll have to look into that. Uh, I will see all of you in my next video. Bye friends.